So Blue Star Family started with research. That's it's the foundation of everything that we do. So we started with in 2009, a group of military spouses got together and said, you know, this is it's really great to be able to serve, but and to support our our country and our service members, but it's harder than it needs to be, and we can make it easier than that. So the first thing that they did is start with the annual military family lifestyle survey. And they didn't know it was going to be annual at that point. It was just going to be a survey to understand what military spouses, military families, what their issues were, what their needs were, and then so that we could address those needs. So since then, we have done the survey every year, and we've added on to a bunch of other research projects that really embed all of the work that we do at Blue Star Families into our programming, into our policy advocacy, into everything that we do. So Blue Star Families data is driving change at a variety of levels. We take the data and we use it with our government affairs team, and they take our findings from our survey research and our other research, and they go out and talk to legislators and congressmen and help advocate for change. So they've done that in a variety of ways. One really important way that they've done recently is advocating for quality of life changes with the House Armed Services Quality of Life Panel. And some of the data that we do ended up in their final report, uh, recommendations to Congress that have been incorporated into the National Defense Authorization Act and hopefully will be enacted when that is passed so that we are making real change for military families in terms of housing allowances and childcare and spouse employment and those key issues that we've had for a really long time. So it really impacts the highest levels of decision making around military families as well as all of our programming and it informs the entire military and veteran support organization space. Other organizations use the data from our research to inform their programs, inform their advocacy. So it doesn't just impact us and our programming and doesn't just impact our policy advocacy, but really is the basis, one of the foundations for all of the work in the military and veteran support organization space. Blue Star Families, as I said, is founded on research. We've been doing research on everything that we do, trying to iterate and make it a little bit better and make it different and understand what we're doing and how that impacts military families. So our research involves not only learning from our members what they're interested in, learning from uh, military families what their experiences are as part of the Military Family Lifestyle Survey, but also using that to improve our programming and create our programming. So one of the things that we learned, for example, is that Military families move frequently, we've known that, and they most often live in civilian communities with civilian neighbors that may not understand that lifestyle. They're not all on a military base, they're out in the world amongst us. So one of the things that we learned is when they are moving so frequently, they often feel a lack of belonging. Our research shows us that when you don't feel a sense of belonging, you have less resilience, you're less able to respond and adapt to some of the changes and the stresses that military life throws at you. So we adapt our programming to help military families develop that sense of belonging, that sense of community through developing programs like Blue Star Welcome Week, through our chapters that are all across the country, through our Coffee Connects, through outdoors programming that we do. All of our programming is aiming at improving some of those issues that we've uncovered through our research.